It is said that long ago, the human world and the world of fairies were one and the same. Perhaps, if one is careful and determined, a path between the two can be found. I think you might like. Thank you. <laughs> Jacob, hey, Jacob. Nice. Hey, Ellie. Could you, um, shut the door for me? Thanks. taken by fairies inhabiting this world, none is so shrouded in mystery as the changeling. The most effective method of proving a changeling's presence is to boil a meal using a single eggshell in place of a pot. Any fake creature observing such an absurd action will be forced to reveal their true nature. Hmm. You should know how to make eggs by now, shouldn't you? Wash your hands out. I know that he's busy with work, but if you are hungry, you should have asked your father for something. Here. I didn't even think you liked eggs. When you were little, you used to tell me not to crack them so the baby birds could hatch. <laughs> Very cute. Anyways, I can't be late from work, but you've got this from here, right? You just flip it in a few minutes. See you out. Be good. to talk about? Well, I was hoping we could discuss your daughter, Ellie. I'm sure you've noticed how absorbed she is with her own little fantasy world. She has a wonderful imagination, but I worry that it might Ellie be... loves fairy tales. Oh, lots of kids do. She'll grow out of it. Everyone does. I understand that. But there are things... How old do you think the forest by the school is? 
I don't know, the trees there are so tall, they must be ancient. I think I might go exploring there someday. Really? Maybe we can build a tree house if we find a good spot? That's not why. I... Well, I thought I might be able to find fairies like this. Uh... Fairies? I mean, that could be fun. I'm serious. I think... I think I can find them if I try and then I could go home. Ellie, you realize that fairies don't exist, right? In truth, finding a path between worlds is more simple than it seems. Anywhere in nature which is old and undisturbed is likely to be frequented by fairies. The boundary between worlds is thin in such places and easily crossed by fairy and human alike. 